More guns are winding up inside our nation's schools. Fox News' Sean LaGill takes a look at the new report highlighting the growing dangers. This is the monitor right here. Um, it's waterproof. Uh, I can't take it off. Keon Robinson's life changed forever when he was arrested for bringing a gun to his Illinois high school last May. Robinson said he was scared someone would attack him after getting into a fight with a relative and brought the gun for his own protection. I do not have any intentions of hurting anybody in that school. According to data from the Center for Homeland Defense and Security's K-12 shooting database, incidents like this are becoming more commonplace across our nation's schools, with more guns winding up inside classrooms and on school campuses. It shouldn't be that we should be this worried about violence at this level in an educational setting, but we have to be. So why aren't we hearing about it more often? While most gun incidents garner national attention when they result in mass shootings, the K-12 school shooting database reveals most gun incidents at schools are not mass shootings, but rather smaller altercations that wind up escalating and can include when firearms are brandished, when rounds are accidentally fired, and more. The levels of violence, uh, it's up in our communities and schools are a microcosm of the community. The uptick in students bringing firearms to schools is sparking new calls from communities to increase protective measures like metal detectors and armed guards. But some school resource officers say there is a fine line. So the thing that we want to not do is to knee jerk and cause the pendulum to swing so far in a certain direction that our kids now feel like they're going to school in a prison. Sean Lanchel, Fox News.